Lexington, Kentucky area. It's a beautiful winter day here, sunshine. Mm -hmm. It's been really pretty the last few days, honestly. This is February, mid-February, and we are podcasting from Katie's house, yes. and she lives in town, so we can see the people walking by with their dogs. <laughs> We're like, so, yes. so it's yeah. not birds today, it's no, dogs. It's dogs. It's Dogs and their people yeah, walking back and sweet. forth. It's my next door neighbor. So uh -huh. It's sweet. Uh -huh. um, it's yeah, sweet. so it's it's like fifties. Yeah, I yeah. tried to find a sweater to wear, but it just didn't. Happen. I don't know. It just. I told her I'm wearing this big heavy <laughs> thing, and she's sleeveless, but she looks cute. How are you feeling? <laughs> Pretty good. Yay! Pretty she's good. feeling better. Yes, I am. I basically, you know, like I'm still yeah. pretty tired, some, but. Morning sickness is mostly gone. Yay, Prince Knitting Lord. is still not yeah. happening. And somebody actually mentioned not only could they not knit in the first trimester, uh -huh. but they couldn't watch knitting podcasts. Oh, really? That is true for me, too. <gasps> really? Yeah, which like made me, I was like, that's, yeah. I'm not weird. I'm not weird. Well, and the yeah. funny, there was so many con comments about, oh, it made me sick as well. Yes. And <clears throat> some people said, you know, uh, variegated yarns. Oh, and, funny. I didn't see that. You know, different, like, if it wasn't just all one color and one. Uh -huh. And so oh. it was funny. It's one person said, I can knit a couple of rounds in the round. Yes. And then take know, a break. And, and take a break. Yeah. Yes. So I totally get it. Yes. I may try to venture into it, um, you know, in the next week or two. Yeah. But reading has really, you know, yeah. has really been taking my... Yeah, calmed your mind. Um, yeah. Good. So, good. Yeah. Anyway. You can tell us what you're reading a little bit later, maybe? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Anything else going on? Yeah. We had my party. That was so fun. Yes. Yeah. We met since we had the party? Oh, we did. Okay. Yep. That was fun. We've been sick. We're getting over it. Yes. We're basically better, so. Yes. I mean, I'm sure my, you all know, when you have large families, mm -hmm. it seems like, I can remember specific seasons where it seemed like we would get one thing and mm -hmm. four days later, five days later, we would come up with something else. And right. it just was like this month, months long. Yes. So I think it's because your immune system gets low mm -hmm. and then you're exposed to other stuff. So it got to the point where it's like, if we're sick, then we're kind of out of commission right. for two or three weeks, yeah. just so that we can get our immune systems built mm -hmm. back up before we venture out and meet other new right. germs right. that exactly. we really don't want. Exactly, yeah, it's, it's partly for yourself and partly yes. for other people. <laughs> yeah, well, and I, I've, you know, you get to the point where it's like, as long as, as long as it's a cold, yes, not the flu yeah. or anything extreme, stomach. preferably, and especially not stomach yeah. stuff. That's when it's like, when you have, a, you know, a large family and you get stomach, mm -hmm. it's not pleasant. Mm -hmm. So I would just assume, but yeah, so we are doing yeah, better. We are. A few yeah. runny noses here and there, but that's it. Yeah. Um, what about you? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. I'm doing good. <laughs> Hanging in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Well, what are you wearing? <laughs> I am wearing, this is one that I knit, I don't know. Let me see if it says. Oh, and uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. So in January of 2022. It's called The Forest Land, and it is by Jen Steingass. And uh, I really do like it. I love the colors. Mm -hmm. It's very bright. It yeah, is nice. a heavy sweater because it is super wash. Oh, okay. It's knit in Mad Tosh yarns. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, the pink is uh, called Barbara Deserved Better. <laughs> and the maroon is color work. And I would say it's the same brand. Yeah. But I, don't, I think I had it in my stash. I knit That's it on cute. seven needles. Uh, color work was seven, the body was sixes, and the ribbing was five. Okay. But it is a heavy, I mean, it's really, it pulls. Yeah. Is it worsted or DK? It's, I think it's, it's worsted. Oh. oh, does it say DK? Well, it doesn't, but I'm just. Oh, maybe. maybe. This is, this is the yarn. Uh, uh, maybe it is DK. Yeah, it does look DK, actually. I don't. Um, let's see. Well, I would practice. I, yeah. I knit a size uh, F or 6. Um, let's see. And 
I got the yarn from Magpie and Lexington. They've since shut down. That's but yeah, I loved it. I love this. Yeah, it is DK. Yeah. I just see okay. it right here. Okay. But it is that because it's super wash, it's very weighty. Mm -hmm. So it is it's nice and warm. Stitch definition is lovely on it though. Yeah. I mean you can just see the stitch definition on it is great. But I feel like if you knit it like in a in a hundred percent wool, mm -hmm. non super wash or you know, a mixture of something, it wouldn't be quite as heavy. Okay. Okay. So, but it does pull, like the neck will pull oh, yeah. out some. Yeah. But I, I, I do like it. I like it's the color. It's very cute. It's very amazing. Yeah. Um, speaking of, is Double Sunday non-super wash? I think it is. Okay. But I'm not positive. So there's, so Drops uh -huh. has a new one called Daisy. Okay. And it's like, I haven't used it. Okay. I've, I have I think I looked at reviews back in December, so it was before I was, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, and people are saying like, it's softer than Double Sunday, but like, it's really good. And it's really? like four something, really? five something escape. Oh my so goodness. So you can make a sweater for, you know, 50, 60. Oh my goodness. 40 to 60. That's a good price point for yeah. that too. Yeah. So I have not used it, so I can't say like yeah. for sure, but there have been reviews out so you can look those up on YouTube, yeah. but. And if y'all yeah. have used, us, used yeah. it, let us know. Also, I did want to say, there are some comments, this, the last episode and the one before about books, if you're interested yeah. in, there's some, a lot of knitting stuff. So mm -hmm. if you're interested in finding out about that, go and look. Is this episode 26, this one? I think it is. Okay. Yeah. So that would have been 25 and 24. Because yeah. Katie's been reading quite a bit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, show us something you okay. got. Okay. So, I'll do this one just a minute. But, okay. Um, this is something I made back, this was four or five years ago, because it was when my husband was taking the LSAT, and I got the yarn as he was taking it. So... <laughs> I remember. <laughs> you remember. Like isn't five, that, five isn't that fun? Yeah. I love having like uh -huh. little stones like that uh -huh. to look back on. Like, uh -huh. oh yeah, this is it. This so, is when I meant that. Um, this is the Raina Shawl by Andrea Mallory. And it is Brooklyn Tweed yarn. I don't remember the colors. Um, it is a mixture of knits, knitting rows, and then brioche. And this was the first brioche I'd ever done. You have to increase and decrease. Isn't that gorgeous? I loved making this shawl. I will say, the thing that I learned while making this is, I don't know if you can tell the tension uh -huh. at the top. Uh -huh. I was so afraid of, that it was going to be loose on the edge that I overcompensated it and tightened. Like, uh -huh. yeah. I think you like don't knit the edge stitch okay. and then you like, you know what I mean? Yes. Um, I can't you remember. You slip it and I, then you knit it the next I time or something. I think that's right. And so I just you know, cinch that baby up to yes. try not to leave holes. I'm really bad about that. So, yeah. but it looks good. Well, I mean, and it's a scarf. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, you're going to, well, my tip was though, just to, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. Go ahead. Well, just to, to not be too tight on the edges yeah. so that it can, cause I do think it actually kind of affects how it wears. Yeah. Oh, do you? Um, I think maybe not, yeah. but I feel like it does. Is and then this... it's got this little applied. I love that. Right now. On the That's edge. Fun, is this uh, Shelter by Brooklyn Tweed? Is that the yarn? I think it's either Shelter or it's, I think it's Shelter. Yeah. Or it's, it, you know, the buddy of it. Yes, I think it is. Uh, uh, it's definitely the Shelter or. Isn't it gorgeous? Where is that other one? I don't know. Yeah, I but I really it. like this. But um, you know, people, pattern. it is a pretty one. Would yeah. you make another one, you think? Um, I think I would. I don't know if I would do this yarn. Yes. I'm just, y'all, I'm so sensitive. Yeah. I'm a sensitive soul. Well, and so, yeah. It's a little too rough on my neck. Yeah. So I could see doing I could it. see that. Yeah. Because she likes the magpie fibers. Yeah. Swanky sock. Swanky sock. That's her favorite. So yes. that's why when I was kind of like, yes. Mm, I okay. know. I know. This may end up being a gift, but yeah. I do love. Yeah. That's pretty. It's just, it's a nice introduction to brioche yes. if you haven't done it before. And it's two color brioche. And it was just really fun to get into. Katie tried to. Teach me brioche. Oh, Wait, did you do the Harlow? I tried. I tried the Harlow hat? Yeah, I'll try it again. Yeah, my brain. I have to. If I try it and I don't succeed, then I just need to lay it down. Yeah, and then go back to it. Yes. After a while. Yes. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. 
I did. That's, okay. that's it for that. That's it for that. <laughs> okay, I have a finished object. And I blocked it. And there was a lot of people said to block it, fold it in half or mm -hmm. on a needle. I would have done that, but I really wanted my little, sorry, I kicked the thing oh, across my legs. But see how I, I put it on a sheet on a rug, a big rug, and then put it on top of a sheet. And then I pinned each one of these out. Oh, so I really, yeah. this is my anthology. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It oh is my, huge. Did it grow? Well, I'm sure it did. I mean, it's, look at this. I mean, you can't even. You can't even you can't take it all in. Take it all in. I may try to put a picture. Yes. But this is the yarn from Sweet Skein of Mine Advent, except for the very edge. And that is Sonder yarn. Uh, this brought me so much joy. I have not done you know done the ends in i haven't woven in the ends just yet but i'm telling you guys that's so pretty isn't it pretty yeah. it was just it's a no-brainer if you accidentally didn't do the yarn overs in one thing mm -hmm. in the row you could do them the next one you know it didn't yeah. really yeah that doesn't bug me mm -hmm. so, but i'm telling y'all this was just... It's really beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I love that. And I was really afraid because the, the minis were 20 grams. Mm -hmm. So as you can imagine, I mean, this is mm -hmm. all the same amount of yarn, but as you grow go out, right. they're getting skinnier and skinnier. Huh. But I felt like that they that the yarn kind of just, yeah you know, merged in and it was okay. Yeah, I don't... That, yeah. that looks really cool. Yeah. And then, so I haven't decided, some, you know, you could wear it like a shawl. Don't mm -hmm. find the, you know, like a double shawl like this if you oh, wanted to. Oh, that's cozy. See, isn't that cute? Oh, I do. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Or if you wanted to wear it just single and drape down the oh, back, yeah. you could. That's how she kind of had hers on. But, I mean, I just... And I had it on the back of a chair. So I need to weave in the ends. So this mm -hmm. is how... But oh, I'm telling beautiful. you, and it's not real heavy. No, you could use it on a bed, but I'm thinking if I don't uh, put it, and some people said to get it rod, you know, mm -hmm. with decorative yeah, edges yeah. and hang it on that, which would be lovely. Mm -hmm. But um, y'all, I really love it. It brought it's me so, so much joy, I, and it took me, I, you know, I started it in mid December, maybe the first of the year, and I wow. finished it pretty soon thereafter because it is just knit, 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 yeah. knit, yarn over, knit yes. together, knit, 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 knit. And so, I feel like the it's actually nice to have those breaks in it yes. where it's like you have you do have knitting, but then you have these breaks where it's like oh just yes. two more rows and then I get to the yarn overs yes. and you just yeah. Well, and the yarn's changing. Yes. So it's That's not. It is. It yeah. just it holds my little pea brain <laughs> to have you know oh look this is yes. coming and this is coming yes. so I enjoyed this so much mm -hmm. I will probably do another one eventually mm -hmm. um but it's a good way to do, use up your advents mm -hmm. and say you know yeah. your advent minis so you could even uh, this might be weird but like do it in one color like a white or something yes like a yes you could absolutely great. That'd be a lot of work. That would and be, a, but you could put this spill. Yes, you could. It could be just decoration. <laughs> yeah, but be very on a round one. table. I yeah. mean, you could put that on a round table, yeah, and it would be so pretty. Would be lovely, as you can tell. Though my ends are, <laughs> my slips showing. <laughs> my ends are showing. Yes, they are. Yes, so I'll, I'll get that knitted. But I do, I do. I just can't tell you how much I love that. Mm -hmm. That was such That's a fun. Really pretty. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want me to show you another? Yes. Okay. So this is a hat that I made. It's called a <gasps> Kobu cat. Have I seen that? I don't know if you have. <laughs> By Caitlin Hunter. Oh, I love that. I know. Isn't that a neat little? So it's got these little um, bobbles. Yeah, bobbles and then like little mountains. Uh, these are, I don't yeah. know if they're meant to be mountains. They're like pyramids. Yes. Yeah, or mountains. Mm -hmm. like triangles at the bottom. Um, like... Yeah, it's hard to see, but I made this a while ago, and I used mohair for the first time, and this is when I found out that mohair wasn't for me. Oh, really? Yeah, but it... Oh, oh that's okay. really wow. cute. That's so funny, because I had 
when I right after I made it, uh -huh. I didn't like how it looked on me. But I, I feel like that. I mean, that's it really look too cute. Bad. And you, <laughs> it's not too bad. It looks really cute. Uh -huh. I think now that that's a style. Yes. That that's. Right. Does it hurt? Does it itch you up on your forehead? That is so funny because I was going to say this is when I found out I didn't like my hair, but right. the way my hair is right now, I don't feel it. <laughs> well, now she's going to wear it. So like, we need some more so cold weather. This is my. My yes. object I'm wearing today. Yes, so, that is really so, cute. Yeah, I, I guess I do like it. I mean, I, I did do. not like it, but it was right. just like, oh, mohair is not for me. Right. And then I thought it was too big, but since it's in style now. Yeah. But this is the Kobu Cat by Caitlin Hunter, and I really enjoyed making yes. it. That's and really pretty. What was the other yarn? Mohair and what? Do you remember? I don't know. It just I think it was like a Madeline Tosh. Okay, that's what it looks like. So actually, the moral of this story is just because you don't like a knit when you first do it, try, try again. Yes, try it on six months later, or a year or two later. Three years. <laughs> That's yeah. really funny. Aren't you yeah. glad you pulled I it am. out and tried Thanks it on? Thanks for letting me yeah, share with share. us. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, so that's a fun. Yeah, so I guess if you are sensitive to mohair and you have a mohair hat, try to get your hair kind of. <laughs> Try and pull you your hair, hair down <laughs> over your eyes some. Oh goodness. Yeah. Oh, okay. Goodness. I was going to say, this is, and this is the anthology. This is the picture of hers. Let me see if I can get the name of it up here. Yeah. By Helen Stewart, the anthology throw. Beautiful. Okay. And then... The other, let me see. I'm so excited to see what you're working on. Oh, do you have, you have any other finished objects? I don't think I have any other finished objects. I tried to have another finished object and uh -oh. it just didn't work. Oh. I had to rip it back some. Because oh, no. I have a question. It's going to be a really silly question. And when you tell me what the answer is, I'm going to be like, why didn't my brain oh, figure that, that out? Okay, this next one I've shown you before. See if you can find the shred by Caddy Jacks. Oh, yeah. um, this is a knitting miss in Emma's yarns worsted. So these are my two colors. And this is, I don't know if this would be this, the. Is it Friday or Saturday? Or, um, I don't think it's Sunday. No, I think it might be that one. Okay. Yeah, what is that one called? The Friday Shred. But I added 20 extra stitches and I still don't know. It may not fit me. And if it doesn't, I'll just give it to one of my girls. But I love these colors. And I may pull it out and add some more stitches. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those because, are really pretty. Yeah, I need to, what I need to do is put it on stitch holders and see if I can get this yeah. over my shoulders. Mm -hmm. has it has does not look like I could get that over my shoulders. Well, and if you block it, though. Well, I don't think blocking, but I, I might be, see, it pulls, it yeah. stretches. Yeah. So I just need to put it on cords and see if it's going to fit. Yeah. But I do. I love those colors. It's Aren't those cute. springy yeah, colors? So this is the Friday Shrug. I added an extra 20 uh, stitches, but I think I probably need to add some more. So I may do that. I may try it on. That's a good thing. I'll try it on. Yeah. And then if I need to, I'll just add some more. That is good. Yeah. Cute. So I love it. Emma's Yarn Worsted. The colors are, what's that color, Katie? Lady Lavender. Ooh, that's a pretty name. Lady yeah, Lavender. Like and this one is Just Add Salt. Isn't that a great oh, green? That's fun. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah. So that's just a one I keep in the car and work on. Yeah. When I'm out of nice. Okay. Do you have another one? Um, or do you want me to I, show another one? Uh, you can show another one. Because I have one, two, three. Three more. Yeah, you Four do. more. Oh, my. Well, you know... There are issues when you're not a monogamous knitter. <laughs> you tend to lose your little projects. Yes. yes. Okay, this is a Manhattan hat <gasps> by yes. Tori Yu. Okay, yeah, and it's going to be a single fold up. Okay. This is in La Bihanami's Worsted. Ooh. I love it. Isn't it pretty? Very close then, aren't I you? I know. I just started it Saturday, I think. <gasps> Let me see what color. I love this color. The reason yeah, I nice. love Lobby and Amy's worsted colors is because they are so, they're, it's not like one solid color. Mm. It's more of a kind of 
tonal, you know, uh -huh. there's different. Do you yeah, see that? I see, yeah. And like that yeah. green sweater, I may wear it if it's cold the next time. Yeah, I do. Uh, but with like that one, I mean, it is, it's called Shire. Yes. And that green is just, it just almost just seems iridescent mm -hmm. in places that it is so. But this one That's is so called, cool. it's called, it's Cory Worsted. Oh my. Coquillicot. I'll show you, but this is the label at the front, and this is the name. Look. Yeah, <laughs> and it's red. So, okay, so on this Manhattan hat, Tori, mm -hmm. you, on this pattern, it tells you, you know, um, to the decreases. So if you if you want to leave it right side out, then you're going to have to decrease purling which doesn't really bug me. Okay. But if you want to be able to knit two together or blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, then you have to do it inside out. Okay. Oh, so push it. So, okay, my little brain. So inside out. Uh -huh. So then are you doing this and knitting the other direction? Or How do you do that? Or See? are you knitting like this? But then oh, you but would then still, still, yeah, it's still the same. See, I think, <laughs> see, I, I know, I don't know. So you all let me know what you think. See, so to be able to, to knit all the decreases instead of having to purl them, the pattern says to turn it inside I out. I think you would have, and then so, does it say turn your work after that? No. Okay, now I've got, I don't know. So anyway, so this is right side. Yeah. So if I want to be able to knit my decreases. I need to turn it inside out. Mm -hmm. So then, do I work going the other direction? Because see, when but I then turn you're it, it's still working this. No, because see, if I turn it the other direction, then my then I would be going off this needle that direction. Yeah. Does that make sense? So knit backwards. You think you need to knit. Backwards. So do you knit backwards? Is that what you're doing? Anybody that's knit the Manhattan hat, let me know what you think. And I'll get on. She might have said something about mm -hmm. it or something. Most of them are really good. Yeah. About letting you know. Any ideas? I think you switch direction. I think you okay. like. I don't know what you do. That's what I did, and I was doing. I I was watching something, and I was kind of into uh -huh. that. So I kind of got on the wrong side of the stitch marker because as you go the first round, you put your markers in oh. so you'll know. And so that's why. So I ripped it back, yeah. but I thought, well, I'll make sure that I'm doing it right. Yeah, smart. Yeah. I so, don't actually know. And so. I know they're probably out there going, this is what you yes. do. This is what you do. So if you know, if you've made it and you know, please drop us a little. Yeah, tell us because yeah. I might be making this. Yeah, I love it. I love that. Hopefully it'll be done by the next time. Yeah. 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 Is Saturday you start? Yeah. It's Tuesday. I know. Oh, really? It's an easy, and I'm uh, I'm doing it continental, so my stitches are a little. Uh oh. So hopefully, and it's a one by one rip. Mm -hmm. So hopefully by the time I block it, it'll kind of mm -hmm. mesh together. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. it will. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've shown this. Uh, have I shown this before? I think. I maybe think one of the too. very beginning. Is this yeah. no, no frills? No frills. I Somebody was talking about, oh, uh, Tash from Mostly Knitting. I was watching oh, her really? today, And she had hers on. <gasps> uh -huh. It's such a great pattern. This is by Petite Knit. Uh -huh. And one of the first sweaters I made that I was like, I can make things that I can <laughs> I will wear. Yes. Because <laughs> you make a few sweaters and it's like, well, that was yeah. fun to make. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this was like the first sweater. I was like, all right, I need to glean it. Um, but this yarn is Quince & Co. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's a planet. The the base is Phoebe. <laughs> there, we've, we have <laughs> talked about this. I'm already. This is, yes. The I'm base is Phoebe. And then the colorways are based off of planets. Yes. And I think... I don't know which one this is. I don't either. But it's, you can look back and see. Yeah, it. it's like the only green. But this has softened up a it lot. Is, yes. I think. It is so soft. It is very soft. Yeah, I love this. We do need to glean it. We need to do a, a show on mm -hmm. glean. We do. Because yeah. I've got all the gleaning tools. 
you know? Yeah, that's so we just need to do that. that. See which ones work best. Yeah, I, love that. I wish I have one of those. You oh, should have. Oh, you could you could just wear that with that. that on. And I think the last time you wore it, wore it was when it was small. When your little when guy was small. small. Oh, uh huh. And he had thrown he had spit up on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Do I still have spit up? No. No. You must have watched. Oh, I would be surprised. No. Oh, see? Yay. That looks so cute with that, Caitlin. Oh. <laughs> now she does have a sweater Yay. on. All right. And now I feel better now because I did feel weird just sitting here. Oh, really? Without my... Without a I know. I know. Because just... we love our nets. Yeah. It's like, surely I have something I, I could try. Okay. Y'all are going to be so proud of me. I turned the hill. <laughs> It's been, this poor sock has been, it fits so nicely. So I've turned the heel and now I'm just knitting the foot and then the toe right. and I'm going to start the other one. That is see, exciting. isn't that cute? Yeah. That's Morning Coffee Socks by uh, Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady. Uh, love the pattern. Mm -hmm. I think it did get lost in this, this variegated yarn. This is yarn by, oh, you know. Oh, good. I've got the tag. <laughs> Copper Corgi. And uh, this is the St. Augustine. I think that's what it, Yeah, okay. St. Augustine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Savannah Sock. I got this when we were at the beach the last time. Yes. So, so yeah. I love it. I love knitting yeah. it. Um, and I, my husband and I took a trip, and we went to Black Mountain. We went to... Uh, Mountain. Yeah, Spinnery mm -hmm. in Gatlinburg. And then we went to, um, I think it's called Fiber and Friend Works. Friends and Fiber Works, maybe. Okay. I'll look in my phone mm -hmm. while you're talking in a minute. Oh, no, my phone's up here. I'll put it in the show notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it may be, I'll look on my iPad and see if it's there. Okay. But um, that place... I mean, it's one of those, it's in Candler, North Carolina, near Asheville. And um, I had never been there before. I'd mm -hmm. seen that. There's a huge sign that says yarn store. And mm -hmm. you and I've seen it on the way to Black Mountain before. Uh, we stayed in Black Mountain, which was really fun. I always yeah. love staying there. It's just a quaint little town. It is, yeah. Uh, and I saw the girls at uh, Black Mountain, and they were oh, all always so sweet, yes. Danny and Renee. And they have another young lady, and I've seen her the last couple of times I've been there, but I don't remember her name, and I'm so sorry, because she helped me this time, and oh. she was really sweet. Uh, but anyway, uh, and of course, their shop. We always love their shop. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, and that's where I got this bag. Uh, beautiful Jeez. sister and so it's one of those that you can walk with and it just kind of these remind me of like elf ears or something yeah and oh, then it has a pocket on the inside it's very you know it's made mm -hmm. real well it's okay. got sturdy so and sometimes i'll even turn this under and then it just sets like this nice. yeah so yeah, yeah. so uh beautiful sister is the name of their bags and i think she actually does the material herself. Oh, does the material. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But yeah. I think I've seen that. But I really like that bag. That's really cool. It's a sweet bag. Um, oh, that, the okay. So the new place I went to in Candler, I'll put the name below. Cause, or what, Katie, will you put it here? I'll try. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to remember that. If she does, if we have time. If not, it's in mm -hmm. the notes below, the show notes. Uh, but it was... It was like they had all the needles, oh. Chagu. They had Knitter's Pride needles. They had all the, they had so many, you know, notions for knitters. They had bags. They had all the yarn, a lot of yarn, a lot of yarn. They had Rowan. They had some hedgehog fiber. They had, uh, I mean, I'm sure you can go on. They do mail, mm. you know, oh, okay. they have a website. Nice. So you can order stuff from them as well. Lisa's the owner, and she is so sweet. She said during COVID, they had had a shop in a mall. I oh. hope I get this right. And during COVID, they mm -hmm. shut it down just because. And then she and her husband decided to build this. It's a pole barn. That's a metal mm -hmm. barn. Well, metal, metal building. Our neighbor beside of us has a home. That's yes. A yeah, yeah. So, okay. um, but... Um, uh, so they decided it and they just 
you know, if, if we build it, they'll come, you know, or wow. something, hopefully. Uh -huh. So, and uh, while I was there, there was probably, I would say at least 10, maybe 15 cars in the parking lot. Wow. And there was two big places, couches, mm -hmm. two sections. And there was one group of ladies over here and one group of ladies over here. And you could just hear all the chatter Aww. and the buzz. And Lisa was up there doing orders and stuff to get out. And, um... One of the ladies says, you know, she didn't work there or anything. Mm. She was just like, do you need me to go get something for you to put in? Oh. I think. I mean, it was just yeah, really sweet. sweet. But, um, I mean, they had so much yarn. Wow. So much yarn. And, you know, I hated to make my husband. But it was it was a almost a pilgrimage to get out there because it is on the back roads okay and on the back roads coming out the other you're side. going to the yard store you that there. is why you're getting yeah. yeah that is why you are on there yeah. but it was worth it yeah but you want more than you know 30 or 40 minutes yeah you want to be able to go take your lunch oh yeah yeah <laughs> you know bring your knitting so bring you your knitting so you can sit and, and think <laughs> yeah because yeah. or get on their website and look at what they have yeah. but anyway yeah, yeah it was a lovely lovely lisa was, is very nice extremely Aww. nice yeah so That's yeah funny. it was funny and they do like cruises and stuff together yeah so they you can i mean anybody can participate oh, but they yeah. had just gotten back from a cruise and i mean she was off to hand up like, oh seriously we need to check into that <laughs> we are missing we are missing something <laughs> we need on that list yes but yeah, it was really sweet. That is, yeah, that's cool. We'll have to make another trip down there. <laughs> we did. I think yeah. C and I, sister C and I, we have we're birthday sisters too. We have the same birthdays, so we generally um, will do something on our birthdays together. You know, go somewhere yeah. for a couple nights. It's generally not on our birthdays, but sometime mm -hmm. that we just call it our birthday trip. So I think we're gonna plan them. Oh same. my goodness! Same, yes. same, yes. Okay, this is. Did you have another one? Um, it was actually something. Well, you know. Yeah. What? Well, I'll do this because I have another yeah. one after okay. this too. Okay. <laughs> this is the Riptide vest, shawl, something. I don't remember. If it's, but I have the the shut the sleeves are done as you go. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's awesome. So then, I, the neck you have to do. Okay. But it's got this really sweet uh, center yeah. panel and back panel. Isn't that oh, cute? Oh, that's so fun. And it's really easy. Sometimes I get a little mixed up, but they're just <laughs> design elements. But um, Noel and Kelly on Knits and Pieces Chat Cafe, okay. I think that's what they call it. Knit cafe chat, something I don't know. Anyway, on Tuesday nights they were doing this, but the uh, that's really cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, the yarn's nice. And that yarn is, uh, oh let me, cause I'll get it wrong. Miss Babs. Okay. Yowza. So it's a DK yarn. I've, it is deep stash yarn, and it is. Oh, doesn't it smell good? It does I've smell got a like, lavender sachet it? down in the bag. <laughs> So it just oh, and then the, even on the sides uh -huh. underneath the arm, maybe you already said that. Yeah, it's got a little detail. Too, oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's like, up and down the sides. Yeah. And uh, let me see. I think it's a, but it, this is Miss Babs Yowza DK yarn, and the yardage on this stuff is like there's like 560 yards on that. Whoa! So it'll uh, it'll take all of one and just a little bit in the next one. The color is cumin. Ooh, and, that's nice. Isn't that pretty? And then let me see. There was something I was gonna. This is so pretty. Riptide. See on my notes. Yeah. Slipover. It's called the Cute. Riptide Slipover. Jennifer Shields Tolan, and she has like a whole series. Mm. Let me move that up and that over. It's almost like a Sophie Shaw. It is. Or, it is almost that she one she has. Yeah. Sorry. That. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's her. That's her slip over. I'm gonna make mine longer, but she also has that scarf in the um, in the riptide pattern. I think she has maybe socks and that all sorts funny. of stuff. This yarn is so soft. Isn't it so soft? Yeah. I have some gray like that as well. I got that at uh, Bliss Yarns in Nashville. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
I'm Ooh. real a uh -huh, long time ago, okay. like long time ago. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. See the detail in the bottom of it? It's kind of in the back. It's a little bit longer and there's a mm -hmm. little, isn't that cute? I really like that though. I'm gonna, see, That's the back's so a little yeah. longer. It's the same. Uh -huh. that? Let me see what that is. I'm sorry. The, uh, <laughs> it's her nap time. Because <laughs> it's some kind of stitch. Um, and I don't remember. It does have short rows in the back, maybe, maybe not. I don't think it does, honestly. Does it? Yeah, it does. Oh. And then... At the, oh, interesting. I forgot what that s stitch is called under the arms. Do you know? Mm, broken... Something. Broken rib, maybe? Maybe. Let me see if it's... No, if I if I figure it out, I'll put it in the show notes. Okay. But it's really cute, and yeah. it just it shut it. You know, it just has a little bit of. Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah, it's a really sweet yeah, really sweet. I love the pattern. It's an easy pattern. It's easy to memorize. Um, oh. Yeah, and I love that the sleeves are done. You don't have to go back and pick up. That's Let's so see, nice. isn't that nice? So the only thing I have to do when I finish it is the collar. Maybe I'll wear it next time. Yes. Yes. You have so many things you're just almost done with. I know. That's exciting. Because it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it has been. Okay. Let's see what you got. Okay. So this is not something I made, actually. This is something Mama made. This is an antler sweater. And these buttons. Uh-huh. And my, it was, they were my great-grandmother's. Yes. And, but this sweater is for my daughter, but now it's going to be for my son because... Yeah, it's, it's the same. antler sweater. So, yes. Yeah. So I you probably did. I don't remember what this yarn is. It's one, is it Wonderland? Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah. And I need the details. <laughs> <laughs> we just wear them. <laughs> yeah. We, we just wear, wear them. Wear them yeah. we, if you let me have it, I'll take it home and wash it and yeah. decal it. Wow. Yeah. So my grandmother, I have her button box. So when I can, I go through it and use the buttons. And sometimes it's hard to find. But she has, my grandfather was in the Navy during World War II, and she has a few of his buttons that were on his uniforms in there. So cute. Yeah. I, love I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Okay. So this is a good one. I feel like my kids have two of these. Yes. She and has that orange one as well. Yes. And they are a fast knit. The pattern is yeah. excellent. Yes. So this is definitely a good kid knit. Yes. And it's a cardigan, so it's tin like can easy knits. To, you don't have to worry about the head size right. or anything. Yeah. And tin can knits, yeah, that's who did. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, well written pattern, fast knit, mm -hmm. especially when they're little like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I may do that for some of my other grandkids that I don't. Uh, that I have that I need to knit sweaters for because it's an easy knit. Okay, this is the what is it called? Sorry, Katie. Spark cardigan. Oh, I you pulled this. That? <laughs> yeah, I pulled this out oh, of the deep. This is Andrea oh. Mallory's. How long ago did we start these? So this two years ago is the bottom. So I knit a couple rows on it. Honey, I've already done the sleeves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the first thing you do. I know. So I've done the sleeves. Oh, I love that. Isn't that cute? So I'm just, and you know. It's like, this is, because you have, you. it's bottom up. Yes. And then you have all this color work. And then yes. once you get to, like, joining it, you have a ton of stitches. And then yes. you have to do, like, V-neck. Yes. And I'm a little intimidated. Yeah. But, you know, so, she, um, and I think that's why I put it away. Mm -hmm. But she gives such good yeah, instructions. Yeah. I don't know why I'm intimidated. Yeah. So I, I just need to get, yeah. and I am. I'm just picking it up and knitting a little bit on it every yeah. day. That's so, so that's, yeah, I'm, that's that. I'm in the body, but I'm like down here. So yeah, isn't it cute? Up. So yeah. That is so cute. And the yarns are, the, feel this yarn. It's uh, wool stock, blue sky fibers. They're worsted. And I really like this. 
It's called it's really Wild Tom, and it's just a very green heathery. And this is Spin Cycle Deep Pup. Mm. So nice, love it. This looks so good. Today. Yeah, and I just the stitches are so yeah, so good. They're so just good. She's just brilliant. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She just must have the mind of a genius. Yes, she does to keep that. You know, to mm -hmm. do that. Okay. And then be able to write it down for other be people. Be able to write it down and make sense of it. Yes. She, sometimes I'll send, somebody will ask me how to do something and it's like something simple, uh -huh. simple. And I'll write it down and then read it back and I'm like, that, that makes sense. Nice. <laughs> They're not going to be able to tell anything from that. <laughs> yes. But yeah, it's just, she's it's very, impressive. it is, it's yeah. impressive. I, I'm, I'm glad that she, that's what she does. Yes. Okay, I have one more. You want to see it? Yeah. I think it's a Ooh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, and then I have two goodies. Yay. Ooh, goodies. Okay. I have been wanting to start this forever and I have been oh, intimidated. And you'll remember if I show when I show you the long yarn, it's the hedgehog hedgehog fiber tweedy and the color is called lullaby. Isn't that that's a glorious. That's so pretty. I love it. Aren't those my colors? Mm -hmm. Y'all just know. So I started it last night. Yeah. So it is the Winter Beach Cardi by Andrea Mowry. Is it bottom up? It is bottom up. And it's, you are purling and knitting like odd numbers the whole way. So you're putting all these markers in here. Oh, and somebody else said, so when I knit that anthology, remember I knit it twice and I had to pull it back at least two times, mm -hmm. I think three th times, because my numbers were off mm -hmm. on the lace on the edge on the fan so I, this last time I put markers like every 10 or 12 stitches, mm -hmm. whatever it was, so that I would remember. Mm -hmm. And somebody said, well, you could just do it like every 30 stitches. Mm. Then you would still have, right? which is true. Right. So if you didn't want to do it every 10 stitches, mm -hmm. you could do it like every three mm -hmm. repeats. Yeah. yeah. And then you, then, yeah, then you wouldn't have so many. Mm -hmm. But it just, I mean, it just yeah. made me feel better. Though. Yeah. I was like, you, you had done so much. You're like, I, yeah, need, this, I need to I do this. Right. Want to rip back yeah. and well, and that's kind of how it was with this. It's like, yes. you know, when you get to the end and it comes out like it's supposed to, you're like, oh, yes. I can't believe I it. I can't believe it. Yeah. But this is just, that's really pretty. And then, so it's bottom up. So it's just this ribbing design for like two and a half inches. No, and no then, way. yeah, but you're just in pattern. Okay. So that's easy. So you're just doing the pattern. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're purling oh, okay. the pearls and knitting the knits. And then you start in. It's got cables and yes. some kind of stitch pattern. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be a, a fast knit, but it's going to be fun. fun. And yeah. it's going to be good when I get it finished. Yes, that's going to look so good on you. That color is going to be fun. I love that yeah. color. So, yeah, thank Yay. you for letting me share this. Yeah. I have two goodies. You want to see them? See. Okay. So this one you'll love because you love her stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh my word! Yay. Yay. So this came yesterday. The Sock Project by Summer Lee. Nice. Can you see that? I mean, if nothing else, it's cute. The colors. <laughs> I mean, these yes. any color on this book, I would be yes please. Mm -hmm. And she, I got this off of Amazon because I didn't see it anywhere on my trip. Mm -hmm. But she, uh, I mean, it's just, you know, instructions, mm -hmm. why you do what you do. Oh, yeah, so it's uh, to knit and show off cool socks. Uh, there's patterns, there's 25 patterns that are featured. Mm -hmm. um, it talks about yarns, needles, and notions, sizing and fit. Uh, the basic sock, finishing and caring for your sock. And then it talks about striped socks, socks with fades, rib socks, thick socks, socks with knits, pearls and slip stitches, lace socks, color work socks, and cabled socks. So, I mean, just that's all. A that's a lot. Look at this. I mean. Well, and, and is the price is $25? 25 No. No. 25 what? No, twenty five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a little more on Amazon right now because okay. I pre ordered it. Well, but what I'm gonna say is yeah. twenty five patterns. I know. Like, oh yeah. And information yeah. on how yeah. to fit. Like that's amazing. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, it's just, and I'm gonna read through this. Yeah. So, because I'm sure there's just tons. 
Because, I mean, she mainly knits socks. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if she talks about anything else on her channel that she does. Yeah. But, um, you know, just look at this. All her socks. Lord. So I'm not going to I'm going to show you one more and then that's it. Look at this. And look at that color work. So I'm really excited. Yeah. I'll let you borrow it. And if that you really love sweet. it, maybe I'll get you it for your birthday. Oh, you're sweet. Okay. <laughs> then this next one. C and I try to get each other really, you know, something memorable for our birthdays or Christmas joint gifts. So I knit her a, she knit me last year some, uh, mitts fingerless mitts and i love them and i wear them they're striped uh, they're just beautiful and i wear them all yeah. the time and then this year i knit her leslie friends shrug oh. a friend the blue it was a the two-tone blue one with stripes oh so she not only can see knit she also draw, she's an artist mm -hmm. uh, and she just is so talented in Yes, she is. Every field, basically, of art stuff you could think of. So she draws. She does charcoal. She does um, pastels. She paints. So, for my birthday, don't look. I can't even. Okay, look. I know. What? I know. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't oh that... Word. I said, see, she put me over on the corner down there. Yes. But I know, I almost cried when yes. she gave it to me. And I said, why didn't you put yourself with me? Because that's oh, what we do. Yeah. We sit together and knit. She said, when, when I was opening it, she said, I just thought of that. <laughs> she said, I'll just have to do another one. I'm like, yes. That is so cute. Isn't that cute? I mean, look at the details of that. Oh, my word. Isn't that just sweet? I, I showed my other daughter, and uh, I said, look what C gave me. And she's like, I said, isn't it lovely? And she said, yes, and you're so nimble. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> but yes, I just absolutely. so sweet. Lauren was like, can we make prints of that? I, I'm like, I don't know. I see. But isn't that it's really, so I just love that. I know. That is, that is, I love thoughtful things. I know. Like I mean, like, when wow. some, because yeah. we as makers mm -hmm. know the time, effort, energy, thought, thought. Yes. I mean, and you are giving a part of yourself, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Because whether it's just your time, mm -hmm. which generally it's not, yeah. I mean, if you're putting time into something, then you're putting your energy into mm -hmm. it as well. But I mean, when you give somebody, I mean, it's like you're giving them. Yeah. A part of yeah. yourself. I mean, I was so... floored. I was floored. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah, we had another friend that was an artist, too. And uh, she passed a few years back. But she used to do drawings and paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, she did a drawing of Katie. And we have it framed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she drew, she made Christmas cards. She, they, those were painted. Yeah. And I framed one of those. And I mean, every time I, I look at it, mm -hmm. I think of her. And then she did one for another daughter, and that daughter used to play the violin, and it's of a little girl playing the violin, That's and she right. has it. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, yeah, share your stuff mm -hmm. with your friends. Definitely. Yeah. So, yes, so that was a huge blessing. Yes. If you're watching this, see, thank you so much. I did so tell cute. her she needs to come on here with us. Yes. So, she's going to do that. She had made, I met her last week for <coughs> coffee, she had made Petite Knits, the Lulu Slipover, Cute. It was the same color family as that um, Riptide of mine, oh. that kind of cumin yellowing mm -hmm. color, and she had used mohair in it. Oh wow! And I think she had. She said it was. Is it olive and what is the name of it? Um, she loves that yarn. Knitting for olive. Yes, knitting for olive yarn, mm -hmm. and it was it was really cute. That's nice. So I might have given it. She was going up to visit her granddaughters, and where they are, they have a store up there that has it. So I might have given her a little money to get oh, me some yarn. Oh, so just peel that. Yeah. Because I never, I've never seen it in mm -hmm. person. Yeah, I haven't either. Yeah. Yeah. So, but she said it's really, and it does everything yeah. she makes of it. I love. Yes. So. Same. And it's not. It's. I think it's a good price point. It's not like outrageous yeah it's i think it's especially because you're buying two different yarns right to write like mother right. and uh yeah 
being very much. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I don't know. So, I'll keep you posted on that. Yeah. So, anything see. else going on? I don't think so. Hoping spring is around the corner. Yes, I am hoping spring's around the corner. Mm -hmm. Although, I still have a lot of my sweaters that I haven't worn yet. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean, I hate to say that for people who work out in the, um, you know, out in the weather. Because right, I right. know that's not fun. Right. When you have to. I was going to see if I could find <laughs> the, I saw your, um, the name of that one shop real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here is my anthology. That's when it was blocking. Isn't that amazing? That's so pretty. It is. And it didn't take long to knit at all. Huh. And I don't know if it was because it was just such a fun knit. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, here it is. This is the Epic Yarn Shop Friends and Fiberworks. Is the name of it, Friends and Fiberworks. So, and it is in Candler, North Carolina. I'm assuming it is in North Carolina mm -hmm. because we weren't far from Asheville. Oh yeah. So, but I'm telling you, I was gonna go inside. <clears throat> I mean, I was gonna, you know, take a video of the inside. Mm -hmm. I thought I just can't. I don't have enough time because I was trying to look yes. and get a few things. And mm -hmm. so next time we go, I think C and I might go there. Nice. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. Nice. Very yeah. fun. Yeah. I'm hopeful that we can put this out on. Uh, what do we call it when it's a premiere? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So if we do that, we're chatting with you on the side as mm -hmm. you're watching this. But this this podcast, this video is not live. Right. So um, we try to do that every time. Sometimes if we're both busy and we just need to get it out because we taped it a while back, a yeah. few days before, yeah. we'll just put it out without doing that. But it's always fun. And we do have friends that show up at those all the time. Yeah, yeah. You right know, here. 60 or 70. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you can, please join us on mm -hmm. those. And if you want to know when they pop up, then I think there's a way you can subscribe yeah. on YouTube. And then if we have a premiere coming up, it will let you know. Yeah. I try to post something on Instagram, but I've actually deleted Instagram from my phone the past few weeks. Yeah. Which has been amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It's been lovely. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we've been yeah. dark on Instagram. It's yes. just because I've, yeah. I've decided to take a little break. I don't yeah. know how long it might be yeah. forever. Might yeah. be. Yeah. I may try and get back on there, post a little here and there. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, if you really have a question for us that you want us to answer, I would email it mm -hmm. as opposed to commenting. Yes. We love your comments. And that kind of, I don't know how it works, but when you comment or like or subscribe, that pushes our YouTube out to other people who mm -hmm. have not seen it before. So that's a reason people, you know, that helps the channel mm -hmm. um, to, to grow the community. So um, if you want to comment below, we would love yeah. it. And usually when we do giveaways, which is usually when we hit the next thousand mm -hmm. subscribers, we will uh, give away something and we'll have you comment. Yeah. yeah. So we love reading your comments mm -hmm. and usually we'll try and say something, answer them in this. Somebody asked me how long it took me to knit because on those last probably eight rows of that anthology, I was knitting like a thousand, 1200 stitches around, mm -hmm. but it didn't take that long. Huh. I mean, you say that, but you're just, yeah. going. You're not, I mean, it's amazing. Wow. How, you know, I it's think you just the get, rhythm of it, it's the rhythm yeah. of it. You yeah. don't, it doesn't seem like a thousand stitches. Right. So it might've taken me 45 minutes, 30, mm -hmm. 45 minutes to knit. I'd say I probably have about 30 hours in that. Yeah. That. But, but it didn't feel like it did not it feel like, like it. And that, that just is a testament to you know, the love of knitting, Yeah, you know, yes. and it just kind of is a way to, um, you know, calm your spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I okay. love it. Yeah. And I love that y'all join us. Yes. And Thanks so yeah, much. Yeah. Comment and talk to us on the comments and mm -hmm. emails. Yeah. Um, Instagram or the fruitful hands. We don't have a lot on yeah. that right now. Yeah. Cause Katie's yeah, she's she is the she is the you know she does all the good stuff like that. I'm I'm kind of slow on the up. No, no, no. But, but but yeah, Instagram isn't 
super happening right now. So yeah. if you want to know when we're going to do a premiere, it's best to subscribe so that you get the notification. Yeah. that Because usually we don't know we're going to do it until the day of. It's like, <laughs> hey, can you do it? Okay, yeah, yeah. let's do Wait, it. Let's do okay. it. <laughs> but so, thank you yes. for joining us, friends that um, already belong to our community. Mm -hmm. We appreciate y'all so much being with us. And we enjoy your uh, ideas about how to do things like yes. my, the three strands of that one that I'm going to oh, use yeah. for the... That one sweater, the is it the bento? Lento. Lento. I, I'm thinking about the bento boxes. <laughs> the lento. Uh, there was a lot of good ideas. Yeah. So I'll, I'm going to skein those up, or not skein them up, cake them up, mm -hmm. and then decide. Yeah. Somebody said to Navajo ply them, but I mean, that then I'd have to do them together. And, I'm a, and then somebody else said, when you do that, especially since I'm not used to spinning or applying stuff together, uh -huh. I might you know, I might do it at a different rate and oh. then you would get one. So anyway, I'll probably just put them in Ziploc bags mm -hmm. and then pull from all three. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So I'll keep you posted. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're fine enjoying you. your knitting. Yep. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Yes. Bye, Bye guys. Knitting.